Hello, everybody. Surprise! It's Tuesday, and I'm live. <clears throat> Nobody be concerned. I'm not sick. I am struggling with allergies really bad. Our whole house is. So nobody worry. I'm going to be stopping to take drinks and wet my throat because it is hurting to talk. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited to be here with you. Hey, Daisy. I missed everybody so much. And um, I know I was really quiet last week. Um, we struggled with allergies last week. It was fall break for us. Well, for the two, for Andrew and Violet. And then Kayla did not have fall break, um, which is kind of a bummer. Kids being in different schools now, it's a little different. Um, and you guys, I just, ugh, 2020, right? So a few things. I am still struggling so much with my editing program. I have so many videos filmed. I just can't edit them and get them up. So I think um, this is not official, but I think I will be live um, each day this week. I think I'll go live Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and just get these projects out to you guys so that I can get them. If I go live and then I put them on YouTube, um, it's better than them sitting on my computer. Hello, Tammy. Marty, hello. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I'm so glad you caught me live too. I know. I It's not, you guys, don't worry. I'm not sick, I promise. I know I sound really bad, um, but it's just allergies and I'm totally fine. I'm just dealing with the situation. And I'm much better than I have been. <clears throat> so, um, I think I'll do that this week just so I can get the projects out to you. They're all, like I have stuff. I just um, haven't been able to get it out to you guys. And I need to call Apple. And I know that it's going to be this very long process. And it's going to take a couple hours. And I have not had the time to dedicate to doing that. I don't know if I mentioned here or not. I think I did. Because it, it was when I was sending out invoices. Um, our bank account was hacked. And um, because of that, we had to close our bank account, open up a new bank account, um, switch things over. Um, and a couple, um, you know, all of a sudden when this happens, you realize how many um, accounts you have attached to your bank account. And I didn't get to a couple of them before payments went through and so then they shut down my account and they locked me out and I've had to spend a lot of time on the phone with places like sorting it out and so I just haven't had the time to dedicate to um the computer situation so um let's catch up with a few things I want to share a couple things with you and then we're going to do a eight weeks of Halloween project and you guys can see that. And then I have a giveaway for you guys. So um, the giveaway will be for Facebook and for YouTube. So when I'm done here, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. If you are seeing this on YouTube, I am not live. So I'm not ignoring you. It's not that I'm not saying hello to you. I'm just not live anymore. And the giveaway is for both places. And then I will pick a winner at the end of the week. Okay, so... To start, um, I have this PDF that's going out to all of those that are on, who are connected with me through email. So if you get my emails, you will get this. This is the product spotlight and projects, and it is featuring the In the Pines bundle. It features these two cards. It has these two cards and then how to make them. Features some other projects, a supply list, um, and then if you're looking at this PDF on the computer, all of these links are clickable. If you just have the paper, don't try to click them. It won't work. <laughs> I always like to be funny with that. Um, but all the links are clickable if you are looking at this on a device. So this is going out today. I just put this together. Um, the best thing ever is that the two little 
kids are in school. So Andrew and Violet have started school. They are half days, um, Monday and Tuesday, and then Thursday and Friday. Um, they are at school for half days. And you guys, I kept thinking, man, I'm such a loser. I just cannot get my life together. I just can't seem to get my work done. And it's this struggle and I have all this stuff going on. And the last two days I have accomplished so much uh, because the kids are in school and like I'm in my office working and it feels normal. Yesterday we had a couple of friends over and I just felt like crying all day, tears of happiness that things feel normal, like we're getting there. So, um, hey, Kathy, good morning. Hi, Dawn. Thanks for joining us. So I am excited um, to be getting stuff out. So this is going out in email. I just finished this up this morning and um, this will go out in email this afternoon. So if you have not signed up to get emails from me, I will leave the link in the description as soon as I'm done here. Sign up and you'll get this. Okay. So that is that. And then I want to share some things. I just got some really fun happy mail. And I thought I would share with you guys. The first happy mail I got was actually from Wendy. Um, she dropped this off at my house um, last week. It says Lovely Notes. And it's one of my favorite notebooks. I actually don't like the dot grid. But this particular note type of notebook um, comes in graph paper. And I totally love it. Um, but she dropped this off and it says lovely notes and it's just for an event that we are attending. And so it was a really nice gift and I liked that. I like any time I can get a notebook. You guys know I'm the queen of notebooks. Daisy said, I feel that way when the husband goes back to work on Mondays. I know, right? Right, Daisy? It's like, I can't believe how much work I've been able to accomplish. Even them just going half days, they're going till noon. I still cannot believe the amount of stuff that I'm able to accomplish and focus on um, with them being gone. And it's just a reminder. And I guess it's maybe a little bit of a reminder that maybe I'm not such a loser <laughs> and maybe the last few months have been really hard with everybody home and that um, I am capable of doing it when I have the time. <laughs> That's funny, Marty. She said, my husband works from home, but I love when he goes fishing. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me grab a drink, you guys. I'm so sorry. I know it sounds horrible. All right, so let me share with you guys this happy mail I got. My husband ran to the bank and ran to the post office and he came back with a package and I was thinking, I haven't ordered anything. And I said, who's that from? And he said, it's from Patty. And Patty Bennett, I don't know if you guys know her. You might have seen her online. She is part of my Stampin' Up! Um, group. She is somebody that I am under within Stampin' Up, meaning I've signed up under somebody who's signed up with her. And I got these two, re I got a whole package from her I want to share with you guys. So I got these. Um, as you guys know, we celebrated the end of the Stampin' Up year. Um, last month was the end of the year. This is a brand new Stampin' Up year. And um, so there's a lot of celebrating going on. And oh, good, you have heard of Patty, Diana. That's awesome. Yes, she's an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And that's what I am. She is my third, um, I'm in her third level, basically. I know that's a lot of Stampin' Up! link. Um, and it basically just means that she's, you know, I get to have her as part of my support system. And she sent me this amazing package. I'm going to show you everything that was in it. And she had these um, two certificates in it, uh, top 10 achievers. And I was number one in sales for this category. And I was number one in recruiting, which I don't really like that word. I feel like that word is really, I feel like it's negative. Um, you guys know, I like to, those that have joined Stampin' Up! with me, 
um, I call them my, my Stampin' Up! family, my Stampin' Up! community. That's basically what we all are. But it was so nice to get these and to see that I was number one in both of these categories. Um, that was nice. And let's look at all of the stuff that he sent. Um, so there was this package here. And there was a couple Stampin' Up! seals, a seal and then a seal plus, which I'll take because... You guys know I love um, my adhesive. These are foam adhesive sheets. No, I don't know what these are. I've never seen these. Oh, wow. Okay, these are foam adhesive sheets. And they're like dimensionals. They're the thickness of dimensionals. These are dimensionals. These are foam sheets. Hey, Kathy. Thank you so much for all the congratulations. And so they're the same thickness, but nothing's cut out of them. So they're just foam sheets. Now, I did not know that we had these. So they work the same. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use these like I use Fun Foam because I think it would probably be pretty expensive. But these, I'm going to try these out and use them a couple different ways. And then I'll let you guys know what I think of them. So some foam sheets. A silicone crafting mat. A simple chamois. Some treat bags. And then these were, these are square vellum doilies, which again, I didn't even know we had. Oh, these are beautiful. And they're vellum. These are really pretty. Okay, so there's that. And then I got this package here. And let's see, I have a set of Tis the Season designer paper, a set of, no, I don't know if she sent two or if this was sitting on my desk. I don't think she would have sent me two of these. I think maybe one of them was sitting on my desk. These are the Wonder of the Season Memory and More cards and envelopes. These are gold cards and envelopes, which I didn't have any of these. Let's open these and look at them. Well, maybe I'll open them. I thought I got that. There we go. Okay, these look really pretty. So gold envelopes and then note cards. Okay. And then a pack of Wonder of the Season Memory and More card pack. So that was super nice and a super fun um, package to get. So I want to do a giveaway with you guys because none of this is possible for me without you and without my Stampin' Up! team, without my Stampin' Up! crafting community. Um, I do not to get, I don't get to do any of this without you guys. And so um, I really appreciate all of you. And so let's do a giveaway with some of these products. So first, um, because I had just ordered some of these, I'm going to do this here. These are the envelopes and the um, cards that will go with this. So I'm gonna do that as well. I got a, a Stampin' Up! box yesterday, and I don't know why I ordered for each of these. Like, I have no idea. I'm like, I don't really know. So hopefully it's not for anything important because I'm going to do a pack of blue adhesive-backed gems and then some of this iridescent um, ribbon. Okay. And 
I want to do one more thing. Oh, how about the stamp chamois? Okay. So all of that, all you have to do to enter to win is leave a comment. Okay, so leave a comment. And then, um, hi, Anne. She did send some really nice things. They're great gifts. Um, so just leave a comment either here on Facebook or over on YouTube. And I will pick a winner probably on Friday. So like I said, I'm going to try to jump on here and do a live each day to get some of these videos out and get caught up with you guys. Um, so I'll pick a winner on Friday and we will do that. Um, and then I'll send this off to whoever wins. So I'm going to set this aside and like I said, just leave a comment and then um, make sure that you are looking to see if you get tapped, like, especially on YouTube. The only way I have um, to get a hold of you if you are a winner from YouTube is to reply to your comment. So if you don't have notifications set up to let you know that somebody has replied to your comment, um, you'll need to make sure you check back. I've had that happen before where I've picked a winner and then um, they have not gotten back to me. So then they don't get their prize, right? So um, it was super nice of Patty to send me all the goodies. And um, I want to pass some of those goodies on to you guys. So um, leave a comment and we'll do a giveaway. Okay, so now let's do a crafty project. I am going to do this one here. So this is for eight weeks of Halloween. This is going to be weeks, week five's project. We will do week six and seven this week as well. And then next week, right? I think next week will be the last week of eight weeks of Halloween. I will take photos today of this and get pictures to you guys. Um, and then, and, or I'll get the PDF for you guys because I'll have a PDF. Yay. Okay, so let's do this project. What I have here is I have the, this is like mesh ribbon. It's so beautiful, you guys. It's silver and it's sparkly. It's really easy to work with. I have this die cut right here. This is from the So Sweetly Stitched dies, and it's a smaller one. I have some black glimmer paper. I have a piece of magic in this night, and this is the designer paper. It is cut to six by six. And then I have these two stamps, and they are from... What stamp set are these from? I am not positive which stamp set these are from. It's a little spider. And then this says magic in the night. And we're going to need a rich Razzleberry ink pad. And then we will need a black ink pad. Okay, so this is going to be a really simple project. My next... Um, project for eight weeks of Halloween. I'll do a card for you guys because I've done 3D or treat bag um, items the last like three weeks. So I'm going to use my um, stamp and seal plus. So this is a very aggressive adhesive. So that is um, it's going to hold a little bit more. Yay, Stacy! She says, working on my craft room now so I can make more fun things. Um, I also, you guys, I filmed, I think, six different segments for organiz organizing your craft room. I went through six different areas in my craft room and um, filmed, like, if they're no longer than 10 minutes, I don't think all of them are under 10 minutes and I'll be posting those soon. Again, as soon as I can get my editing situation worked out, but I have all the footage, which is really nice. And then, um, at the end of me posting all of the little segments, I will post the overview of my entire craft room redo. 
So what I'm going to do is add a strip of adhesive to the edge of this paper. And then I'm going to fold this into a tube. And I'm just folding it over enough to get that adhesive to stick. And then I just take a bone folder. Just to make sure that's pressed down. Okay, so we have a tube. And then... I think it's easier to use tear and tape for this once you have your tube, but I just take off a piece and I put it right here on the edge. Now I'll show you after I get this stuck down. Okay, so see how I just stick that right on the edge because we're gonna pinch this together. So I just have this right on the edge and then I'll just take this little tool okay and then we're gonna pinch this together um let's see Marty said I need to see those we are at our Florida home for winter and I need to set up my craft room those will be coming out I promise um, I filmed them, which is the, uh, recently has been the biggest hurdle is getting things filmed. Um, but now with the kids, um, going back to school, it's easier to film. So I have them filmed. I just have to get them edited. Okay. So I've pressed that together. Okay. So we have this and what you can do you can take your trimmer and lay this on your trimmer and use it to score. That will keep the adhesive, but it will also give it a decorative edge. I like to put maybe three. And because this is going to be a treat holder, listen, it doesn't have to be perfect. They're just going to get ripped into and thrown away. But that gives you like a little decorative end. And then you would fill this with your treats. Now, I don't have any treats to put in here, but you put whatever you're going to put in here, which this is a pretty good size. Um, so it, it would be easy to, um, you know, put candy in here. Then you're going to, so here's the key. So you're not going to press it down like this, though you could, I guess that could be cute too. You could leave this open and put a candy bar in it, but the trick is to fold it the other way, the opposite way. So you folded it this way the first time. So you turn it on its edge and you fold it this way the second time. So now let's add a little bit of tape again. And I added it in the wrong place. That's okay. I mean, like I said, it's a, it doesn't need to be perfect. So we're going to add it this way. So we need... Right? Okay, so... Okay, so then let's pull this up. Okay, whoops, and then there's this one. I did two in there. Okay, so now we're this way. So then we pinch it this way, and then we have a really cute sour cream container. Okay, 
And then I always like to just run my bone folder again over where that adhesive area is. And just for consistency, we'll do this with our trimmer again. If you have a scoring um, board, like if you have a scoreboard, you could use that as well. But in a pinch, you can always use your trimmer to score. And sometimes I just don't like to get out another tool, you know? Like sometimes it's easier to not have to. Okay. So this is super cute, right? So now for the decorative part, this is going to be so easy, you guys. These are the easiest thing to make. And uh, you can do a ton with them. So now it doesn't even matter which side is top or which side is bottom. So then you'll just take this ribbon or whatever ribbon you have. That's the other thing is it doesn't even matter which ribbon. Okay, so then... Now, I didn't get this, I didn't get this ribbon very tight. There we go. And then I'm just going to trim a little bit off here to even it out. And then let's do our stamping. So we're going to do with Rich Razzleberry. I don't want to forget that piece. We're going to do There is Magic in This Night. And this, you can do with any designer paper and there is magic in this night could be for anything right it doesn't even just have to be for halloween and then with memento black we're gonna take this nasty looking spider who loves spiders and stamp that dude right there and then what i've done is i've just i just have this piece of black um glimmer paper and to spruce this up even more, I'm going to put this at the top edge here. So I guess maybe I didn't need to score this top edge since I'm putting the glimmer paper. But, you know, whatever. It's totally fine. Let's trim that. Okay. So look at how cute that is. And then pull this ribbon out. And then we'll take a dimensional. Oh, I guess you don't really need to take a dimensional. I'm going to take two. I just think that's what will be easier. Oh, it would look like a candy corn daisy. That's actually a really cute idea. And then I'm just going to tuck this right in here like this. Dimensionals are uh, sometimes easier if you don't want to have to press. Like I didn't want to have to try to press this down and ruin the shape. And definitely if you have candy in here, it's going to hold its shape better. But dimensionals tend to stick really well without having to press too hard. So how simple is that? Like what a cute project, right? So I also have this one. And this was done in the black and white design. And this one has actually been sitting for, I don't know, about four days. And you can see that it's not, it hasn't even come apart. So this, these hold together really well. These would make, you could do, again, you can use any designer paper and do any theme these would be great for a baby shower a birthday these would be great for christmas they look like chris they could look like christmas trees so you could do them with christmas paper and you can make them as big or as small as you want you just need a square so like i did six by six but you could do these five by five you could do a 12 by 12 one if you wanted right so these are so cute These are easy, and I've done them before for the kids' school for treats. Um, I think one time I made seven of these, and it was so easy to make. So this is our, I believe this is week five of eight weeks of Halloween. I will get a PDF for you guys with measurements. 
um, so that you guys can see that. And then there'll be a photo of the project. Um, but I love this. It's so, so cute. Um, and this ribbon is gorgeous. Gorgeous right here. I almost didn't get any of this. And then um, I actually don't even know why I picked it up. I think it was just one of those things where I was like, oh, well, I'll get that. I kind of went crazy with em um, embellishments and consumables in the fall winter catalog. And um, I'm so glad I did because it's so versatile. And the thing about this ribbon is you can pull it apart more. Um it shapes really well. You could just use this and put it behind, like behind a stamped image. So cute. Daisy said, I make these for hubby's employees at work. Yeah, that's another great, um, another great thing that you can do. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I missed you guys last week and um, I'm sorry things have been inconsistent the last few months hopefully that will change as we get back to things and the kids are back in school thank goodness and I'm looking forward to sending somebody all these goodies you totally could color the ribbon you totally probably could let's try um all I have I don't have any scratch paper all I have is this whisper white but I have some granny apple green I have a blend. I don't know that you'd really be able to. I guess you would. Yeah, I guess it does. It does change the color of it. Yeah, it totally does. Yeah, you can totally see like that's green. So pretty, right? Yeah. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Like I said, this is going directly to YouTube. And then I'm hoping to be able to catch you guys to jump on here live over the next few days to catch up on projects. I think that's going to be um, the best thing to do to get caught up, I think. <sighs> and then there will be a blog post also, that will go up. And then remember, I'm going to put the link in right now. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to press finish. I'm going to press share. And then I'm going to go right to my computer and put up the link. If you guys have not signed up to get my emails, sign up to do that. And then later today, this PDF will go out to everybody. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And hopefully I will catch you tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, guys. You're the best.